this lecture we will learn how to define the material properties and section properties so first of all we need to enter the material property for the indian continent that is we can enter fe250 as hot rolled structural stress sections are in the grade of fe250 only and then left click on okay and then again left click on okay after that we need to define the section properties and frame sections here we can import new properties that is if we want to import the steel i white pan sections left click on okay after that and then for indian we have basically various type of families here for example if we want to import steel double channel double angle steel angle first of all we can we should go with steel angles if we want to import isa 100 110 u and uh, is a 1501510 here and then left click on okay so now we imported two sections here similarly we can go ahead with the channels also let us for example if we want to import smc 200 here then left click on okay and uh, after that if we want to import some small angles also for small bracings so if we we should go ahead with isa 75 75 6 and then left click on okay and then again left click on okay so now we have imported materials and section properties so after that if we want to assign the various section properties to the different sections we should go to assign frame and section property So here we have all the uh, section properties that we have defined. So first of all, we should uh, define the these uh, small bracings. These small bracings should be sufficient in ISA 75, 75, and 6. This is a preliminary engineering judgment that can be correct as well as incorrect. So after that we can model these ties also with ISA 75, 75, 6, and then we can model the these vertical columns as ISMC 200. Although these are defined as angles only, so let us say initially we can go ahead with angles only. Let us say the size is ISA 150, 150, and 10. After that, let us say these bracings should be of seventy-five, seventy-five, six only. And then there are various small bracings here also. we can select easily by drawing a rectangle from bottom to top and uh, we can assign these members also as 75 because these are very small members left click on apply and we can name these members of isa 
and these members of ISA To check we can go to select properties and frame sections we can select none and then we will notice that 26 frames are still without any section property so we can go to view and uh, show selected objects only and uh, we can assign these sections as 150 angle of isa 150 150 and 10 these angles are as 150, 150 and 10 and these members are the vertical banner supporting members so they should also be 100, 100 and 10 except these three members these three members should be 75 75 and 6 so uh, we again save this model and then again check that whether some uh, properties are missing or not so here uh, no all the sections have been assigned a particular property so we can go to view and show rendered view to see the structural framing arrangement here it is somewhat uh, not looking correct uh, this member is very heavy and these members are very light so what we can do here is that we can assign all the these members of same section property so that it will look structurally feasible otherwise it is not looking correct so we can uh, select these members here you go to assign frame section property select isa 150 150 and 10 and then again go to rendered view so now these sections are looking correct and the arrangement is also uh, looking very dense and very so that all the forces are transferred in the truss manner not in the bending behavior so in this lecture we have learned how to define the materials and how to define as well as assign the section properties in this lecture we will learn how to assign the releases as well as how to assign the supports to the base so first of all we need to learn how to assign the releases so in this uh, structure you need to understand exactly why we assign the releases basically releases are assigned whenever the structure is simply supported at, it, at its ends that is the ends are not so much stiff as to transfer the moment or to balance the moment so here for example the, these bracings in on the bracings we have to assign releases on the both ends so we go to assign frame and releases partial fixity. We select it as uh, torsion on one side and moment M22 and M33 on the both sides. So we assign the releases here. And you should notice that if we have assigned these releases wrong, there shall be instability in the structure. So you need to basically understand how to assign the releases. So we are now assigning releases to all these members here. Not all the members but in a particular manner. So for example now we have assigned releases to the all the horizontal members.
and left click on apply after that we need to assign releases to all these members as they are also simply supported at their ends So now we have uh, selected all the horizontal members here. And then left click again and apply. So that we assign releases to all these members here also. You should notice that we have not assigned releases to these members. So, so if we assign if we assign releases to these members also, then all the members will be uh, there will be large instability in the model. So uh, although uh, we can check this element also but that will automatically be checked in the analysis section if there will be uh, some uh, releases are wrong there will be very infinite amount of uh, deflection in the st structure you should notice that we will not assign releases to the columns but we will assign only releases to the bracings as well as to the time members apply and okay. and uh, after that we need to assign the supports so we can assign pinned supports left click on apply and okay so to check whether the releases that we have assigned is correct or not we can first of all check our model we can go to analyze and check model and uh, we can select all the options So here it is showing that model has been checked, no warning messages were generated. After that we can analyze the model. So here we can see that the uh, deflections uh, that are coming are nominal. That is approximately 0.538 mm minimum and 0.567 maximum. So if the releases were assigned wrong then then, then this uh, deflection or displacement would have been in the terms of 10 to the power 7 or 10 to the power 9 that is infinite displacement. So we can go to uh, unlocking our model and uh, then subsequently applying the loads in the next lecture.